Well, hi there, my name is Brian Knight. In this video, we're gonna show you how to install Dynamics 365 Sales in under five minutes. So let's begin. First of all, you'll go to make.powerapps.com, hit the gearbox in the top right, and then go to the admin center. Another way of getting there is just going aka.ms and then PPAC, Power Platform Admin Center. We're gonna do this by creating a new environment. An environment is basically a container of all of your dynamic system, uh, uh, data, your apps, your power apps, your power automations, and even things like Copilot Studio and Power Pages. It so has a contained database and all the other assets that might be needed. An environment might be like a dev, QA, and production environment. So to do this, I'll hit the new button up here and you'll find there are multiple environment types. Now I'm doing this under the environment tab. I'll hit the new button and then I'll give it a, some type of name. I'll just call this D365 and I'll call it YouTube or whatever you want to call it. Once you do that, pick your region and uh, you want to pick a region close to where your users are going to be from a um, uh, perspective of a network traffic perspective. Uh, you choose on whether you want to get features early or have them on a slower cadence, then choose a type of environment. For QA and for development, for dynamics at least, choose a sandbox environment. And for production, of course, choose a production environment. Now, if you are a developer and want to do this for a developer environment, notice that when I do developer, the, the settings do change. And on the next screen, just a quick, quick little preview on the next screen, there's a setting that's missing right here uh, that if I don't choose developer, it will work. So I'm gonna hit back again here. I'll choose sandbox for my environment. Make sure you turn on Dataverse. And as soon as I do that, that save turns to a next. And when I click on next, it'll and now, now I have this new settings down here. The next thing to consider is, do I want to have an AD group that you must belong to to get into this environment? If that answer is no, then hit the security group hit none, and then done. If it is that, then hit that little pencil icon and choose the appropriate uh, security group there. Additionally, if you want to turn on Dynamics, all you have to do, if you have a license, is toggle that Enable Dynamics, Dynamics 365 apps. You are not allowed to install Dynamics into an environment where this switch is not set. It's going to precondition the database to get it ready for you. Now I could just toggle this on and then hit OK and move on to the next piece. However, I can also install certain applications by hitting this and we can see what I'm licensed for right now. So if I toggle the sales enterprise in my case or customer service or whatever, as I to toggle each of those settings, it's going to install those applications inside my environment. So uh, after I do that, I'll hit save. And then about five minutes later, you're going to have an environment. Now, what if I forgot an application? Let's go to an existing one that I have here. Uh, I'll select this one right here. I'll then go to the right side where you see Dynamics 365 apps, select it, and then hit install app. You can hunt for your application here. You'll see double Dynamics apps right here. Select one of those apps and then hit the install button there. Additionally, you can also find this under, under uh, oh, uh, uh, you can additionally find this in other locations also. Now to create a new environment, you need at least one gig of space, uh, a, a, a Dataverse space available. You can find that under resources and capacity to find out how much capacity you have. You can also find the Dynamics 365 apps here, but again, you can only install this in an environment where that toggle was toggled on. Now after you install this, what's your next step? Well, it looks like my environment has been successfully created, D365 YouTube. First thing I always do is go to that environment. I'll rename the URL when I select this environment. I'll rename this URL by hitting the edit button, and then I'm ready to configure it after that. I'll also go through with this updates here is, make sure there are no updates that are available to me. As you can see in my case, in a moment here at least, let me just refresh this. In a moment, you'll see there are updates available. Uh, if I have a fresh new environment like this, I would hit that manage button and hit update now. I'm not gonna do that right now, but that, that will slow your environment down. But I'd rather slow it down now than in two months when I'm active, actively using the environment. Now, how do I configure this now? Well, I'm gonna go back over here, refresh this. I'll do a hard refresh and try to get this cache open here. And when I toggle this, I should be able to see a 3365 uh, YouTube. There we go. 
And the first step you want to do to configure it is go inside of one of these applications you're seeing here. You can simply hit click on see more apps and then click on all apps. And you'll see a list of all the apps that were already installed for you. In my case, I'm going to select the sales hub application hit the play button. This is one of the apps you'll use to configure the sales application. And a sales application is the closest thing to a CRM, that, that uh, uh, application like salesforce.com or, or one of those. Dynamics, of course, has tons of applications, ones for HR, for finance, for operations. Uh, there's all sorts of applications you can use, but sales one is the most common one you can see. Now you'll see in this case, my, my account has all sorts of goodness already here. But what if I want to see some sample data? You'll notice that when I go over here and I select all accounts, which are my companies, I don't see any data. So one way to get data when I have that Sales Hub app open or at make.powerapps is simply hit the gear box up in the top right, go to advanced settings. Then on the left side, you'll scroll down, look for uh, uh, under, under system here, oh, excuse me, under data, you're going to find under data management, System, Data Management, you'll see Sample Data. When you select that, just hit the Install Sample Data button. This too will take about four or five minutes to actually finish installing the sample data. But after it's done, you'll have about 20 accounts, some opportunities, and all sorts of goodness that you can play with to, 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 to measure the success of that. So you can close this down now and while it's doing its thing in the background, and I will close out, close out that. And if I go over here now, we'll start to see stuff, some data start to come in. Things like orders and opportunities and products uh, will start to come in now. It will take a few minutes to come in though. Now, how do I go and configure this? I'll simply toggle the area area down below where it says sales, and then you'll see app settings. We're gonna have future videos on how to configure Dynamics, and it's also part of our Dynamics class that I'm filming right now on our on-demand platform. But you'll see right here all the configure or a lot of the configuration settings for, for Dynamics 365 and a whole bunch of areas like things like Sales Accelerator and Sales Insights. But this is where you'll start by configuring your sales territories. Uh, you'll go over to your uh, org chart and start to build out all the settings that are necessary for yours, your environment to make it happen. The whole process for actually configuration, less than 30 minutes, you're ready to go at least for the core configuration. Then you're ready to start customizing it and building your own forms and your own views. But in this video, we showed you how to install Dynamics 365 in under five minutes. Again, if I go back and I hit this little setting right here now and go back to sales, we should start to see accounts start to trickle in. There we go. So here's our accounts, here's our contacts, and now we have sample data and we have a Dynamics environment full of ready to go, uh, configured the way that Microsoft wants you to configure at least, and then you can customize it to your own liking. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe.